This tutorial is all about getting started in the IL-2 full mission builder. We're going to make a, a simple US mission, it'll be a single mission, and so I've navigated to this folder where I'm going to create a folder to put this mission in. Call it my, it's a good place to save my US single missions. See you in Sturmy in just a moment. The first thing we'll do is go into the full mission builder and we'll select a map, load map, I'll go to Normandy 3 and the first thing we'll do here is to save the mission in the file my that we just created. So let's go file save and through single, I'm just going to expand this window a little and down to US and in there we'll find my and I'm going to call this Normandy Dogfights so uh, we, don't, we don't need to put dot miss after that let's save it and what's the next thing we should do well we could start placing objects but let's do it in a, a good way we'll go to edit conditions stick it at 7am for a nice morning start hazy gives it a few clouds and we can adjust the cloud height. If you want to see what that looks like in game we can uh, zoom down to the uh, 2D, hit enter, get 3D uh, relief and that looks pretty good for um, our mission today. So we'll leave it there. That's the conditions done. The next step, well, let's go to Edit Description. This is where we can give the mission a name, which shows up in the mission list. In this case, I'm going to call it Normandy Dogfight, just the same. Oops. Uh, okay, and let's go to the short description. Uh, this is the description which shows when we click on a mission in the mission list. I'm going to uh, stick that in right now. So we've got a uh, training mission. You're enjoying a nice Normandy sunrise when you sense trouble from behind. Can you shake the bandits and make the kill? Good luck. Let's go to full description and the full description is the briefing, the actual mission briefing. So again I'm going to hit pause and put that in now. Okay, so training mission. Damn, you, uh, you just wanted to enjoy the sunrise and there's a bandit on your tail. He's coming fast with an altitude advantage. Time to think survival. Notes, altitude 2,500 meters, air start. So we're going to set that, that situation up right now. Let's go to view object and we want it from the aircraft list which is that one, the other ones are down below. Uh, so we'll go to aircraft and we, we're gonna, well, let's choose a P-51 we can see the objects by clicking show and what we'll do is place the first waypoint control click let's go to plane and we'll select this one as our plane we can also uh, change other things like skins and skins and uh, AI skill if there are other planes in our flight but that's all we need to do for this mission uh, the height we said is 2500 meters speed let's make it 400 and norm fly is the one that we want. So let's go, I'm going to go over to type just so we can see at the moment the plane has Russian markings right and the reason is that it's on the default setting for the Russian uh, like the default Russian squadron. We can't select a country but we can select a squadron and we'll go we're going too far um, to a oh, where, <laughs> where are they when you're on um, doesn't matter. Okay, let's select the fighter group there. Okay, and on the screen we can also choose uh, weapons. We'll just keep that as the default machine guns. And the fuel, let's make that 60%. Uh, that'll do for us there. Uh, the next step, whoops, I don't want to unselect, uh, is to place a second waypoint, which I'll put over here. If I go to waypoint, we'll see that the second waypoint is actually the same as the first one in terms of height and speed. Uh, and that's because um, it just copies the, the previous one, right? That's why we started uh, the way we did doing the first waypoint. 
So I'm going to unselect, right click, unselect, it's time to get a bogey. We'll go down to the German aircraft down here, get a 109, and we'll stick that just about one kilometer behind. I'm going to go to plane, this is where we can choose the skill. Let's make him ace or whatever, it depends on your um, confidence and ability, uh, skins etc there. Waypoint, well we said he's coming, oh he, he has an altitude advantage, so I'll make that 2700. Given that, let's make that say 420, and norm fly is what we want. Properties, weapons default, fuel, uh, say 70%, and all that's fine, and if we want to just check that everything's looking good, we can see them there. This window is also expandable, so we can all right, change the size there. So the only, uh, next thing is just to give this guy a second waypoint, we'll have him aiming that way and for this mission that'll be enough, he'll uh, catch on to our tail and do his best to uh, bring us down. And that's all we need to do, right? It was pretty easy, I'll just go unselect and straight through to fly a file and play. There's our briefing and I'll hit fly. I don't have my controller set up so I'm just going to hit pause here. And I go control F2 just to see the, uh, the bad guy. There he goes, he's locked onto us. And uh, if I just hit pause for a moment, there he goes, he wants us and he wants us bad. I'm going to escape from this mission. And we're done there. Back to the FMB. And I'm going to exit out of the FMB to the main screen. To fly the mission in the future, you can go back through the FMB or kind of the normal way is through single missions we can go down to US Army Air Force and there we'll find our folder my and there we go Normandy dogfight there's our short description go through to briefing there's our briefing and we can hit fly from there so that's it not too hard uh, I hope you found that interesting I'm sure you did get stuck into it FMB is a great place for creativity I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is Flying Nutcase wishing you a very nice day.